is like comes to thee. O Lord, who is like comes to thee? O Lord, among the God, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of kings, to the Lord of lords, the great I am that I am, the lions of the tribe of Judah, unto him that has the key that can open and no man can shut. That key that can shut and no man can open. The ancient of this, the everlasting King of glory, the great and the mighty God. All glory, honor, dominion, and power belongs to you, Lord. Thank you for another new month. I want to welcome every one of you to a brand new month. The month of August. The month of August. And the theme for this month is Behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Said the Lord. I'm going to take the reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. And I want you to listen carefully and see what the Lord has said. So God says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. See. I am doing a new thing. Now it will spring up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. What do you see when you view your profile? Do you see possibilities of problems? Today, God begin that is going to do a new thing. And if God will do a new thing in the church, the church must do away with the old. If he must do a new thing in your life, you must do away with the old things. Because even the Lord Jesus Christ said, He won't put a new wine into an old wine skin. A new wine will be in an, a new wine skin. Let me tell you, the first step you need to do, if you want a new thing in your life, because this month, the brand new month is loaded with new things, new testimony, new story. And that is what God is going to give you in the month of August. But before then, something needs to change. The first step that you will embrace so that God will do it without stress is that you need to change your focus. Change your focus. Quit looking behind and start looking ahead. Forget about yesterday. Look on to the future. If you do not change your focus, you may be hearing that the Lord has made the promise. But you are not seeing the fulfillment. Now, I want you to get it right. God says the Lord. He said, forget the former things. Forget the former things. The things of yesterday, you need to forget about it. What 
whatever is of yesterday is old. Anything of yesterday as of today, it has become a cake. You need to think anew. You need to reason anew. You need to act anew. You need to get a new behavior. Because you want to enter into the realm of new things. And the month of August is a month of new things. And I want you to look at what Paul says. Because it will help you. In the book of Philippians. Chapter 3. Verse 12 to 15. Say, not as though I have already attained. Either we are already perfect. But I follow after. If that I may apprehend. That for which also I am apprehended for Christ. Jesus. Say, brethren, I can't not myself to have apprehended. But this is one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the price of high calling of God in Christ. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. You cannot depend on your past victory to sustain you. The victory of yesterday has become an old victory. You need a new victory. You need a new power. You need a new strength. You need a new testimony. You need to laugh anew. You need a new story. And that is why you cannot depend on your past victory. Your past victory cannot sustain you. Today is a new day. This month is a new month. And is a month of a new beginning. And new things will continue to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. I have this question for you. Question is listen carefully. Is it what God has done or what God is going to do? What God has done is yesterday. What God will do is of a new thing. You need to believe in. Many people will allow their past failure to possess them. And that is why they can't experience a new thing. But today, you must understand this. That your past failure must not possess your life. Because you want to encounter a new thing. New changes. New testimony. You want new things to happen in your life. And that is why... When you look at the life of the children of Israelites, they deserve not to be given a new thing. Because each time God is blessing them, they keep paying back with evil. But God did not resist his goodness over their life. He keeps doing them good. And that is why your past failure should not possess your life. Yes, you have been trying all these things for longer years. It has not to work. But this is a new month. Try a new thing. Try a new thing. Think a new thing in your life. Let God possess you anew, just like never before. You can surrender your heart anew to the Most High God so that you experience a new thing. I want you to understand that you need a new faith, a new vision for what God has for you. You need a new portion of faith that will brought you victory just like never before. What is the new thing that God is going to do in your life? What is the new thing God is going to do in your various ministry? 
What is the new thing God is going to do in your various churches? Listen to what the word says. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. The former thing has come to pass. A new thing do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Before they spring forth. That means God is about to do a new thing. And this new work will be so glorious. It's going to cause people to praise him just like never before. To sing a new song unto the Lord. And praise him from the end of the earth. So that the name of God will be glorified everywhere, all over the world. God is telling us, let all my people worldwide sing my praises. Let them hear a new song from all over the places. Let everybody begin to sing a new song. Let the church begin to sing a new song. Let individual begins to sing a new song. Even in your life begins to sing a new song. You must see your possibility as God sees them, not as he sees them. Because when you see your possibility at times, you say, no, this thing will not, be, will not come ease. But see it as God is seeing it. Because God is saying emphatically, I am making a new way in the desert. You, may, you might have been deserted. Your ministry may be a desolate. Your church may not be experiencing a new thing again. But God is able to transform the desert area of your life, of your church, of your ministry. To bless you and give you abundance. Oh, God can take a dry up a useless life to transform into a new life of purpose. Because God is going to do a new thing. Whatever God says, he meant it. And when God speaks, he throws his total weight behind his word to bring it to accomplishment. Listen carefully. The Lord has promised to do a new thing. The new thing God is about to do in your life shall not be delayed in the name of Jesus. And I say it emphatically. The new thing God is about to do will not be delayed in the name of Jesus. Your testimony must have been far away from you, but in the month of August, you will receive a new song, a new testimony. You will testify to the goodness of God. Your testimony will not be delayed. God will make a river in your desert. When a man gets promoted to a new level, everything becomes new. In the month of August, God will give you a new promotion. In this new month, you will get a new promotion. Just like never before, God will promote your ministry. God will promote your church. He will promote you to the next level of your faith. In the name of Jesus. However, a new thing can mean a new different thing to various people. You need to hold on to God's word and to his promises for a new thing that you desire in the area of your life. God had already set in motion the event and people who will lead the Israelites out of captivity. The same thing he has planned. He has made a plan for people that will take you out of the dissolute, you will be remembered for good things, for favor. You will be remembered. God will bless you. There will be open heaven. There shall be placed before you an open door because what God will do is different from what has been happening in your life since the beginning of your life. Since you have been created. You have not seen a new thing. New thing is about to spring forth now. God said, I will do it in your time. I will do it. Your ministry will receive a new dimension. Your life 
will, renew, will receive a new dimension. You will testify to the goodness of God. No matter what people say, don't believe anybody's report, but believe the report of the Most High God. God is not a man. God will never lie. He has promised by his holy name. The mightiness of his word. He has promised that this month is going to be a unique month. The month of a new blessing. A new promotion. A new testimony. In the name of Jesus. As you go along the new month, I want you to trust the Most High God. So that we move you from victory to victory, from glory to glory, from power to power, from victory to victory, you will testify to the goodness of God. The Lord will do it at your own time. It shall not be delayed. God will visit you just like never before. Brethren in the Lord, I want you to keep thanking God for seeing this new month. It is a new blessing. Begins to thank the Most High God now. Give Him all the glory, honor, adorations. Thank Him for everything. Because surely He's going to perfect it. We do it at your own time. You have the cause to glorify His name. Begins to thank God. That this month, the Lord will perfect everything that concerns me. I will move from one level of promotion to another level of promotion. I will move from one greatness to another level of greatness. God will perfect everything that concerns my life. Oh, to the glory of God. God is doing a new thing. Yes, I can perceive it now. He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. He's doing a new thing. It will not be delayed. In the name of Jesus. Eternal King of glory. Baba, we thank you for this hour. As we make a prophecy. Unto the life of everybody that hear this word, that henceforth you will never fail again. We have billions are failing. You, you will succeed. You will make it. In the month of August, you will make it. You will break forth. You will break good news. In the name of Jesus, God will perfect all imperfection. He will perfect all imperfection. Oh, the Lord will visit you just like never before. There shall be testimony. Glory to glory. Grace to grace. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And you're standing. Amen.